Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Hi, Dr. Rebecca Brightman. Thank you for joining me on the Valder BB Show here live in Dallas, Texas on KKBI FM Radio. Thank you for having me. Well, we're going to talk about an important topic, oral health. It's always important, but we're going to combine that with pregnancy, and you're going to give us some ideas and information we need to know. I hope so. So it's very interesting. Uh, Crest and Oral B performed a survey, actually, of uh, women who were pregnant and women who had recently been pregnant. And it was very interesting in that nearly a quarter of these women noticed a decline in their overall dental health during the course of their pregnancies. And also what's interesting is that 70% of women experienced changes related to gingivitis, yet overall women who were pregnant, only 56% of them actually saw a dentist during the course of their pregnancies. So dental health should not be neglected. I, I, I can't believe the numbers are so high because if you're maintaining your oral health before pregnancy, wouldn't you continue on during pregnancy? I'd like to think so, and I think it's a big misnomer. I think women equate going to the dentist with having x-rays taken, and it's really unfortunate um, in that in misinformation really can factor into some of the things that occur during pregnancy. And women do have um, gums that tend to be more swollen. They're less likely to want to brush when at this point in time, brushing is really important because of the puffy gums. And women sometimes have nausea and vomiting, and thus that creates a more uh, acidic environment in the uh, mouth, and there's a greater risk of dental or tooth erosion. So it's really important for women not to ignore what they've typically been doing. And if they have a great oral habit or hygiene habits going into pregnancy and they continue them, they'll be so much better off. Okay, so what are some things we can do to help jumpstart those women who are thinking, because I just had a conversation with an a ongoing listener of the show. She's, uh, she's in her 50s and she's planning on getting pregnant. I, it, I, it just happened to me, but she's planning on getting pregnant at this late stage. So what kind of tips would you give her for oral health? Well, I would give her the same tips I give all of my all patients and women who, of reproductive years in general, that they should see their dentist on a regular basis for checkups and for dental cleanings, ideally twice a year, and that they should brush twice a day and follow that up once a day with... Um, something like Crest Pro Health, dental rinse, mouthwash. And, you know, it's really, really important if they notice any signs of gum sensitivity, um, bad breath, loose teeth, that they address their physicians and not ignore their mouth and not think, oh, there's such disconnect between my mouth and oral health and having a pregnancy. Because studies really do show that when left untreated, gingivitis, which is very common in pregnancy, can progress into periodontal disease. And some studies suggest that there's an association between periodontal disease and preterm delivery and low birth weight infants. So it's really important on many levels for women to establish good oral hygiene. Okay, okay. So there is a connection, and we've determined that there's a connection in our oral health and our physical health. I love it that the... Um, um, dentist is now taking your blood pressure before <laughs> they actually uh, uh, work on you. I, I'll be glad when they start to be able to interpret those blood pressure readings. But anyway, it's a good start. 
My guess is many of them can, and I think there's a lot of crossover between everyone's respective fields. Um, and this is a good thing. And I think that uh, we should all communicate this information with one another. And I think it's really important for obstetricians to discuss this with their patients who are contemplating getting pregnant and who are pregnant because their dental care can really impact their pregnancy. That's right. You need to add this to the list of, you know, I need to know as you prepare your body and your mind and your spirit for having this other human being. I love this, doctor. Is there a place online where my audience can go and get information? Yes. Women can receive much more information about brushing for two um, by visiting crest.com and oralb.com. And it's a great, these are great websites where they can have their questions answered and they can get much more information about brushing Dr. for two. Re Dr. Rebecca Brightman, thank you for that information. We really appreciate it. Thank you.